What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to measure the length of multiple different segments at once inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so sometimes you just need to know, um, for whatever reason, the overall length of a series of segments inside of a 3D model. Let's say that I wanted to figure out the length of this set of segments right here. So there's a way to do that and it's actually built into Blender though you have to enable the add-on. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start by going to edit preferences and you wanna make sure that the measure it add-on is enabled. So make sure that 3D view measure it is enabled. We've talked about this a little bit in the past. Basically this is a tool that shows up inside of your view when you have these, uh, when you have different edges and vertices and faces selected that you can use in order to get different measurements. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into the measure it tools right here. And so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the button for show right here. And we wanna go ahead and we wanna click on the button for add measures. And we wanna have the segment that we wanna measure selected or the series of segments. So we're gonna click on the button right here for segment. Now, what that did is that came in here and that measured every one of the segments along this surface, right? So we could do the same thing here where we could do a alt click. So I'm gonna do a control click in order to select this entire length. And then we could do the same thing over here where we could add the lengths of the segment. Now that's great, right? Because you can see how much the actual individual segments are from a length standpoint. But the problem is that doesn't give us a total. So what we wanna do is there's one more step that we wanna follow. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe all of these that I just added out. Notice how those each get added as an object inside of Blender. I'm just gonna do a delete all and we'll start fresh. So what we wanna do instead is we wanna select this vertex right here. We're gonna do a control click in order to select all of these. But then before we click on the button for segment, we wanna click on the sum option and we wanna set a sum. And in this case, we're gonna set the sum to be to the segment length of group A. So we've set this to group A basically is what we've done. So now all you need to do is just click on the button for segment right here. Well, because we had a sum set before we added these, now, if you look down here, you get a total. So for this measurement group, we now have a total. So we know our total length right here is gonna be 3.14 meters. So in this situation, let's say that we wanted to do the same thing with this path right here. Well, in the case of this path, what we would do is we would set that to a sum of B. So we wanna set that to sum group B. Well, now if I click on segment, it's gonna add all of those in here into group B. So now we have a total length of group A of 3.14 meters and a length of 10.09 meters along this length right here. So we can use this to quickly pick up totals of segment lengths inside a blender. You could also, if you, uh, once you're done with these, you could just delete them all. So you could just do a delete all in order to get rid of them. But you could do the same thing for like multiple segment lengths. So let's say that I was to select something like this right here, it doesn't really matter. Um, all we have to do is just do the same thing. We'll just do a segment A length, and this will give me a total of all of those lengths right here. So if you're trying to do anything with real world dimensions, this could be really helpful in helping you get measurements out of your Blender models. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this tip, what else you'd like to see on the channel. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.